Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today we've got issue number 54 of the Peter Rabbit Patchwork Quilt Partworks and we're going to be making our second churn dash square. With issue number 54 you'll be receiving a pink floral fabric, midnight floral, blue floral and the silver spot. For this churn dash square I'm going to ditch these fabrics. I'm going to ditch the pink floral, the silver spot and the midnight floral. I'm not going to use these fabrics. I am however going to use the blue floral. I'm going to mix the blue floral with my own green spot and another of the licensed Peter Rabbit fabrics. To make the churn dash square you will need to use template G, I, F and C and I have all of these templates from previous patches that we've made. If you don't have these templates please photocopy this onto a light card and cut them out. So it's time to cut out all of our patches. With the I template I'm going to be using the licensed fabric. Also with the F template I'm going to use the licensed fabric. For the G template I'm going to use the green spot and for our C template the blue floral. I'm going to start with our C template and the blue floral. We're going to need four of these so I have folded my fabric in half and I'm only going to cut out twice. So I've cut out all of my patches here but I have had a bit of a change of mind while I was cutting. I'm not going to be using the green spot after all with our G template. I thought I'd make it a 100% Peter Rabbit patch. I'm going to use my little motives of Peter Rabbit for my G template instead. It's time to cut out four of these. So finally all of our final pieces have been cut out. It is time to lay the block formation out in front of us. So our very Peter Rabbit churn dash square is laid out in front of us and we're ready to stitch it together. While I'm setting up my machine, here's a little bit about the churn dash.
so we're all set up and we're ready to stitch iron check machine check let's get cracking I've read the instructions carefully this one looks tricky I haven't had much success with the churn dash so this is the last of our churn dash so I've got my fingers crossed that it'll work out I'm going to start by stitching this piece each of the four onto the centre piece first So I've stitched and pressed our G template pieces onto the I centerpiece. Now I'm going to be stitching our F triangle pieces between the two F. Wish me luck. So I've managed to stitch the triangles in between these two pieces. It is a bit dodgy. The joins aren't the best, but we're on the home stretch and I'm going to stitch the four blue floral triangles on the corners. Well that was tricky. I'm going to pack away my machine and give it a final press. And here we have our completed churn dash square. I found it immensely tricky. You can see here at the points they're a bit creased and a bit dodgy but I think my choice of fabric makes it a really pretty patch. I hope you had success and really enjoyed making your churn dash square. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of future episodes and I really look forward to seeing you next time when we celebrate our 100th episode of In The Craft Room. Until next time, bye!